Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a featured seller video for you guys. I have 25 bolos coming your way. This one is a little bit longer, but I am going to move through them fast. Um, this is a member of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, and I have actually featured her before, but it's been a little while. Um, if you're not in my Facebook group, down in the description of the video is a link. Definitely join that. I share tons of bolos there also. I am, um, I love bolos, so I love learning. So we are gonna get started. So the first item is this varsity jacket and it came from a thrift store. She paid $12 for it and it sold in about a week, maybe two weeks. And it sold for $149.99 with fast and free shipping. And it's just plain on the back. It says service desk, kind of fun. And there is the tag. Looks to be vintage. Pendleton is definitely a Bolo brand. Uh, the flannel shirts do fantastic. This came from an estate sale. Um, it was like an estate garage sale. She paid $5 for it and it sold for $129.99 with fast and free shipping. This Wagner aluminum, alum, that's another word I can't say. I just can't pronounce it. Aluminum, aluma, aluma. <laughs> Okay, number one, it's late, and number two, I just can't pronounce it. But it's a Dutch oven roaster, and this came from a thrift store. She paid approximately $6 for it, and it sold for $69.99, and the buyer paid shipping. All right, so these are Silvestri, S-I-L-V-E-S-T-R-I, -E string lights. They're gold-colored bells, and these came from... The same place she picked up the Wagner pan, it was a thrift store, uh, paid $1.99 per box. And it looks like they sold for $59.99. But I'm a okay, so she's selling six boxes. Okay, I was confused. But shipping is super, super high. Oh my goodness. Um, but they are super cool. The next item is this tape dispenser. And this she found in the trash. I love bolos that are free. This came in a trash can. So I'm, I don't know, pretty cool. $39.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next one is this, um, it's a model kit for a ship. And this one came, she paid $20 for it. She thinks she paid $20 for it. It's been a while. Um, she said it took a lot of research to find some comps, but it was worth the time. And she picked this one up at an estate sale and it sold for $350. This mid century modern shower curtain and a member of my Facebook group just emailed me and they found, a um, one of these shower curtains and there's this flocked. Um, so I'm kind of like excited to see what they sell it for, but this one sold you know, um, yeah, she did. Yeah, I thought she took a best offer. A best offer of 110 She paid $2 for it. This was in one of those bathroom linen closets at an estate sale. So if you have not seen my bathroom bolo item videos, I have two of them. They are so fun. Um, definitely, definitely check the estate sale bathrooms. But go check out those videos. Um, if you go into my YouTube channel and click, um, I mean, use the search bar and put bathroom, it should pull up both of them. I just did another one, most like pretty recent. So, okay, so this is a US Air Force uh, summer flight suit. And the buyer didn't pay, so it's relisted. Nope, I'm sorry, that's not the right one. I didn't include the one that the buyer didn't pay. I left it off. All right, I feel like I'm not talking to you guys, sorry. This one, okay, It pop, I popped into an estate sale the second day, not expecting to find much. I saw this hanging on the back of a door for $20. I didn't even research it, I grabbed it and ran, and I knew by the feel and the pockets on the legs, it was old and in amazing condition. It was not fun to photograph. She said she's not set up for long uh, garments, but it looks good to me. 
sold for $149.99. Okay, I like this one. It's a planter's tea and garage sale, $1. She picked up several that were new. Um, she said, if, there, if you're at a garage sale and there's t-shirts that are new, if there's one, look, because more than likely there are more. But this clock radio got in an antique mall for $10 and it sold for $69.99. Looks to be new old stock. And the um, a lot of times you'll see NOS and that stands for new old stock. And th this is um, conditioning cream lightener. It's a developer scoop and guide Redken Blonde. And this came from a thrift store. She paid $6 for it. And she said the buyer revealed after purchase that what they really wanted out of it was the scoop. And they paid $74.99. I guess this is the scoop. How crazy is that? Kind of cool. Good information to know, you know, because you might find one of these scoops at a garage sale. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. Let me see here. It tells up here. Is it film? Something electronics. Um, whoops. Oh no. Shucks. Sorry, I. Uh, it must have expired. Anyway, I can tell you about it. You saw it. It was on Craigslist. It was free. A warehouse near her was offering or offloading some no longer need, needed components. She said she's been selling bits and pieces of it consistently for a year now. Okay, so this 1922 Ford manual, she said she got a box of um, items at a garage sale for five bucks for the whole box. And this manual sold for $59.99 with fast and free shipping. Orion Parka, never heard of this brand, O-R-I-O-N. And she got it at an estate sale, paid $5. And she said she picks up heavy coats in the summer when no one wants them. And it sold for $59.99 with fast and free shipping. Bucilla, um, these kits, uh, needlepoint or cross stitch, they can be a major bolo. Definitely look them up if you see them. Uh, she says she picks these up all over. I can't remember where I got this one, but she usually pays a dollar to two dollars. Same here. Garage sales are, I find these at garage sales a lot. Um, this one sold for $59.99 with fast information. Radical Forgiveness. Um, it's an audiobook CD. She said she picks up media a lot and she picks it up wherever. Paid. Um, she pays 25 cents to a dollar for CDs and CD packaged audiobooks. And this one sold for $39.99. The next item is this um, blackened voodoo shirt. Like a vintage men's shirt. Sweatshirt. Uh, Dixie Brewing Company. Paid a dollar for it at a garage sale and it sold for $49.99 with fast and free shipping. Steve, well... Hold on, I'm sorry, I saw Steve McQueen in The Reavers. Original motion picture soundtrack. This came from, she said media is hit and miss, of course, but she looks for it. The more unusual, the better. Paid probably a dollar, sold for $49.99 with free shipping. I think I'm gonna start looking for media and maybe just like do a video on it or something. I don't know. I don't do a lot of media because I don't want to test stuff. Um, I will pick up like kids movies that are sealed and then I put those on Mercari and I've done pretty good with that. Uh, drum Corps. Uh, DVDs. Again, she said the more unusual and weird, the better. And doesn't say what she paid for it, but I think she said she pays 25 cents to a dollar for them. This one sold for $59.99. Free shipping, again, I mean, very, very odd thing. Uh, Drum Corps International 2006, so kind of cool, but odd. Um, and $59.99, awesome. 
I love this. It's an Hawaii, a Hawaiian men's shirt. Super cool. Uh, this one came, she said, I love this shirt. Had it fit me, I would have kept it. I got this at a, in a lot purchased online. I paid less than a dollar after you divided everything else per piece. And this one took time to find the right buyer as it was a smaller size and it sold for $59.99 with fast and free shipping. Uh, this is a book and it's signed and numbered. Pick this up at a thrift store. The spine caught my attention with the My Little Pony silhouette on black. MLP is usually bright colored, so I pulled the book and saw it was a numbered edition. I paid $2 and took it home and researched it further. It's a brownie MLP fanboy culture piece that is highly sought after. A lucky find. It sold for $99.99 with free shipping. Pendleton, another Pendleton shirt. This is a 2XL, so that's a great size. Got it at an estate sale. Um, paid $5 for it and sold it for $99.99. These Sorrel um, men's boots. Paid $10 at an estate sale. Um, sold them for $69.99. And the buyer paid shipping. The Floby. This is one we've talked about in my Facebook group, and people do really well with this one. Um, and this is one of those that I feel like a lot of people know about, but they're just hard to find, you know? So it consistently stays a good bolo because you don't find them. I may have had this for a week. I paid $12 at an estate sale. I saw in the preview pics and fully expected it to be gone as I got there late. Surprised no one snapped it up. Sold for $59.99. And... The estate sale, I mean, 12 bucks is kind of high, in my opinion. I probably would have went on half off day and hoped to have gotten it for six. And it would have been gone. Folk songs for solar sailor, sailors. Um, dollar, not sure where it came from. When it comes to media, I would say weird sells. Same as the idea that people love ugly. If you have ever heard of it, if you've never heard of it, it's worth looking at twice. If it's ugly, someone is going to want it. <laughs> so those are her tips. And I love that. Um, and I agree. Um, weird, ugly, like ugly clothes. Um, like not ugly in a sense that it's just like ugly, but like funky, different designs. Like um, some people really like the Kuji style sweaters. To me, they're not... I. I think they're too loud, but people love them and they pay big money for them. So definitely be on the lookout for Kuji. I'm sure most of you know about that. Whoops, I'm gonna shrink this back down, I forgot. So I'm gonna go into Visit Store. And this is the name of her store. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna post a link down in the description of the video, but I wanna go in here. I like to go to see other items. And I like to search highest first. And I'm just going to give you guys a little look at some of the other things that she is selling. So again, definitely go in and take a look. Oh, that's cool. Stife, I think is how you pronounce it. But Stife is another bolo. Definitely be on the lookout for those. Um, but like I said, I'll post a link to her store down in the description. Give it a look. There might be something that you like. Um, if you buy something... Oh, you know what? I think I used to have a pair of shoes like these. That is so funny. That brings back memories. I think I was in high school. Doc Martens, those are a bolo. She's got lots of bolos in here that I am familiar with. So, I mean, you could even just go look at what she's selling because she has so many high solds. All right, guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so and click the like button and comment if you comment that helps bump me in the search results i think likes also help i'm pretty new um it has not been a year december will be a year so i'm still trying to grow the channel i guess i'll always be trying to grow the channel so if you can share the video like on twitter or instagram or wherever i'd appreciate it facebook that would be awesome and if you made it to the end of the video put that i made it to the end of the video and have an awesome night Thanks for watching.